Critical Tumble, where a bunch of longtime friends and internet nerds transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons and Dragons and critically fumble a lot. I actually know that the, the last time I said anything like that, uh, Linda accused me of cursing her, so I don't think I'll be doing that again. <laughs> um, there were many n natural ones in a row. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. I was directing that at everybody. The fact that it's only you, it's, it has nothing to do with me. Previously, uh, the, the Cupcake Coterie, after some various bits of adventure, some of it Deadly, some of it not so much, uh, some of it involving the as-seen-on-TV uh, areas of uh, uh, mining consortium shopping areas, uh, which resulted in a plesiosaur-shaped soup ladle and a cockatrice-shaped egg timer, among other things. Um, they managed to get past the salt gate after yet more peril in the form of paperwork and bureaucracy, and red tape, and all that other stuff that we... Yes, even in D&D, sometimes you have to deal with the kind of shit. But at least it wasn't triplicate. The triplicate was magic. <laughs> Barnabas was very, very impressed by that. Almost enough so to slightly mitigate his continued grief over the fact that, A, he gave up his way home to an archfey to get him to leave everybody alone and be having realized that doing so with an archfey you can twist a bargain like i don't know macrame um can and probably will use that to visit not only ravnica but other places as well possibly he's trying not to think too hard about that and we've helped him with that a little bit because in their travels through the uh, you know, the, the tunnels beyond the salt gate there were ropers four of them and because of the close quarters and the tight tunnels only like four or five of them actually managed to get in on the fight in any really significant way apart from you know the occasional dagger chucking and I will be here with the aura of life tattoo if I need to be but for the time being eh <laughs> Uh, while that was going on, the two that were very much not involved in the fight, although I'm sure they could have found a way to be, but that would have been really cramped. <laughs> um, Barnabas and Ava heard from the walls, frankly, whispers and mutters in what appeared to be draconic. They're pretty sure it's kobolds. They were betting on the outcome of this particular fight. That, uh, went, you know, nothing further happened, uh, but they agreed that after having been chomped on by the landscape, they were gonna sit, grab some food, and consider what this meant for the rest of their trip, which, you know, they've still got about a day or so before they have to do anything, because Hazel's, um, You know, scrying thing uh, basically said that Alice should start using her uh, clairvoyance thing uh, once they were two days past the salt gate and you're only at half a day so far and already you've been attacked by ropers and seen uh, significant proof that you are in um, cloaker territory as well as some uh, pretty uh Difficult terrain in the form of skinny ash stone bridges, and there's a question that you might consider as lunch is being uh, brought out of bags. How the hell are you going to get back through that? Because there's not enough bridge left now. <laughs> I mean, if push comes to shove, I've got ten minutes of wing, and I can ferry people. And I can do it at least one. Of... Yeah. Me and Darwin have d dimension doors. Yeah, so that's... I, I can teleport. Mm. And honestly, uh, 
you know, while I'd have to be watching just to be on the safe side for Seth, if a if the day comes when a decent monk can't make a thirty foot jump, I dread to think. <laughs> <laughs> But I can ferry uh, Hazel. Uh, I mean, probably you, know, you guys. Well, Hazel Clarity. And I guess I probably wouldn't have to take anybody. I just have to watch in case. Well, I guess it, it, it'd be a pick, really, wouldn't it? Because there's two of you who can Dimension Door. So you can take one person. First, Seth and Barnabas would go alone. So would... I, unless I wanted to take someone with me. So the question, and I'd have to because there's three people who can't get there on their own. So that would be the question, who flies with me? I didn't think I was that bad company. Honestly, it, I think we might just be in a position where we're good with yeah, but we have Maybe to pick. One. We have to pick somebody. And at this point, you know, it's like I know that at least two of you aren't all that much on heights. So I don't know where Clarity is on heights. I don't know if she'd rather have the. Uh, but she's already been flying, and I don't know that she's had the. Well, no, she has had, now had the experience of going via Dimension Door. So, mm-hmm. but she might want it for a. Yeah, she might want to try it with via Remy for to see if there's any difference as far as that goes. <laughs> and there go the mental gears. I've dealt with academe. I get the kind of thing. So, I mean, I know it's <laughs> I know it's getting a little ahead of ourselves, but I'd rather have that kind of thing kind of set up. Besides it. It feels good to be planning the going back. It speaks of confidence that we're all going to get out of what's about to happen. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. in a day or so. So yeah, I would guess yeah. uh, Clarity goes with Remy and that just leaves uh, Hazel or Ava, which he wants to go with Darwin and which he wants to go with me. Hazel, do you have any purpose? Uh, well, I'm not much on heights, so I prefer Darwin. To be fair, neither of them are much on heights, but I can I can tell I can tell you one reason why it should probably be Ava. Less armor. Less muscle. I mean, come on. She she acts. And then there was before that there was the giant fucking hammer. <laughs> Ava on the shoulder. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> eh, I mean, it, it would just be easier for me. I don't think. Besides, you've been out flying with me before. You can trust me. Yeah. And if I was ever going to take Hazel flying, it'd be uh, another one of those tours of Egref. <laughs> I may actually lose my fear of heights if we do that. We'll, we'll, we'll have it as a, as a, I guess a pre-wedding thing. I know. Get, get you, get you, clo- get you closer to Paylor's son, too. Yep. So, now that we've got the fiddly details out of the way. Hi, kobolds! <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to make a perception check? Me. Definitely. Sure. Mm-hmm. Wait, why was it? Oh, whoops. no. Hang on. Surprisingly decent for me. 17. That never happens. <laughs> 21. <laughs> and this is, this is high wisdom individual. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's everybody but Darwin and 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 Froseth that are hearing uh, draconic mutterings, and thus it's only Ava and Darwin who you don't hear specific words because it's in the walls and it's not very close exactly. But there does seem to be a certain amount of oh shit, oh shit, they've made us, and what are they eating? It smells great. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm looking at everybody else at this point because I didn't because I rolled an eight, so I didn't hear. No, I don't hear. Oh anything. yeah, no. So it, it really is. You know, all of you hear draconic muttering, um, except for you know Froseth and Darwin. <clears throat> and Ava's the only one who understands it, but she's sh- pretty sure she's not catching everything. There's just a there's just a sense of oh shit and ooh. <laughs> I'm just like oh. looking at people's expressions to see if there's anything I should be worried about. I'm listening and keeping an eye out for if any any of them show their faces. You have face. I mean I hear them, but it's not like I speak draconic much. Mostly the swear words. Mm-hmm. And they're really hard for a humanoid mouth to pronounce. Similar problem. I can definitely hear them, I just have no idea what they're saying. Sound like can't quite make it out, but they seem uh, dis- displeased that they, we've noticed them. Anything else? Yeah, because there's more than just freak out in the tone there. You sound curious about something. About what? I think the food. <laughs> Hey, kobolds! Want a sandwich? Yes, that's a good sign. <laughs> no, seriously. It actually, holds up a sandwich, waves it. Eh, hey, I mean, conflicts have been have been have been avoided with uh, with the uh, prompt application of a good meal. So hey, <laughs> yeah, what the not? I feel like kobolds would be very food mo- motivated. Food and treasure. And then just looks at her hair. Uh, okay. Aye. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when when your hair looks like shinies, that potentially presents a problem. It's mine and you can't have it. <laughs> but you can have a sandwich. It actually puts together a sandwich and steps it sort of to the edge of where you guys are. You are short resting, so if anybody needs to roll uh, dices, then they should do so. I think you were fine. You didn't get bit by anything. Oh yeah, the, the, you just, just sorry. It reminded me of something I wanted to double check on my sheet real quick. Sorry. Entertainingly so. Same applies to me. I took basically zero damage and just nomphed everything. Yes, well, you know, uh, flitty, flitty nomphs, spectral flitty nomphs. Yes. It can generate high density particle fields consisting entirely of fairy dragons. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, that's a that's a thing. What happens? Uh, actually, yeah, I think uh, she's gonna roll some of her smaller hit dice. Um. Yeah, that'll do. All but one. Yeah, yeah, all but one. So. Okay. Good. And further perception check from y'all, please. Um, you guys don't actually have a light source, so, uh, everybody but Hazel and Clarity have disadvantage at this point. Okay, I'll I'll roll again. (laughs) I rolled a three. (laughs) (laughs) The first first roll was a 19, I'll roll again, and it is 11. So, 11. (laughs) Should we have had last time, then? Uh, no, the last time was mostly last time was mostly hearing, so there wasn't actually anything to see. This time is uh, as much sight as as hearing. So <clears throat> yeah, uh, you guys are you guys you guys are mostly boned in the dark, really. It's uh, Remy. Here's a very light scuffling sound and 
frankly, so does Alice say, but uh, it it take it takes a minute. You look back and the sandwich is gone. <laughs> Maybe just double take direction of the sandwich. And Alice just kind of not saying a word, uh, pours out what uh, pours out a glass of what is probably it, it appears particularly to those of you with night vision as some kind of milk based beverage or milk like beverage and sets it down a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 45 seconds later, there's it's not even words for uh, Ava, Froseth, and Darwin. It's just high pitched of the I have I have had too much hot too fast. I didn't say I didn't say I was going to put some you know I didn't say I was going to make it particularly non spicy. What was Blast. And all of a sudden, the the, the two kobolds sort of rush into the just just to the very edge to where the milky drink bait has been left, and then seem to be fighting over it. Oh shit! There was two of you. Okay, Blush. No, 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 stop, 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 stop the fight. Stop. Look here. <laughs> One of them just grabs it. Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Yeah, most most of you, you're not seeing very much because again, dark, and even those of us with night vision are mostly seeing sort of black and white. So you're seeing kobolds. They're tiny. They're kind of been battered, mismatched looking armor of sorts. Mostly, they seem to have cobbled it together from a variety of sources. There's there's enough gear wheel and other assorted bits on them that you think that some of this is discarded fashion shit that was brought in from Egraf at some point. One of them is in fact wearing a rather over large top hat with goggles. <laughs> oh no. Which That's is fashion choice. Which is actually tied on under the neck, a little bow, which is the only reason it's not falling off, is, is guzzling <laughs> milky drink. Yeah, the little horns are kind of stuck through the the the, the, <laughs> the brim of the hat, of but he's still tied it there. They're adorable. I'm gonna. Quickly glance at first to look back at them and just be a little baffled by the comparison differentials. Because they're both <laughs> draconic, but so different. Yeah, the, the, the kobolds finish up their milky drink and do seem to be feeling a little bit better. And after the I am entirely distracted by relief, all of a sudden they have this oh no. <laughs> Hi. Howdy. Uh, do you happen to speak common? Uh, you don't want to speak common. Okay. One of them is approaching Froseth in this sort of a Looking at his scales like he's never actually seen a metallic dragon before and look, shiny treasure. And the other the other one the other one is very cautiously approaching, trying to pet Alice's hair, and it's just Can somebody who speaks draconic please say something? Ava help? I or, can't. or you know, frozen because <laughs> dragon to dragon, I don't know. Is he, is he like reaching up? I just pointed for us. Oh, remember, remember, her hair is down to her knees, and she's sitting down, oh, so it really is just. Pull him up. Uh, okay, no, you. That's gonna have to be a grapple check. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, aren't that tiny. They're like. 
three foot tall at minimum. They're they're gnome sized. Let's grapple. You want athletics. Fourteen. Squirms away and just onto the other side of the hair and actually sort of clings to it and Alice's arm, but it's just but Get you don't be hostile. I wasn't being hostile. That's a hostile action. Versus, you're fucking enjoying this. <laughs> Indraconic. All right, that's enough. Get off. And actually imitates Alice's gesture of. <laughs> Wow. And I am being okay. <laughs> you tried to pick him up. You're like twice his size and tried to pick him up. That's pretty intimidating. Uh, it's insulting, if nothing else, at the very least. You know, I I figured that was kind of mild. Actually, could you? Could you... Let go. And manage is in passable if somewhat lispy uh common fuck off <laughs> yeah i don't think, I that's don't think they either. like you ava <clears throat> okay you... hmm. so let's see kind of crouch down to be like closer to Ethan with the, the kobolds. Yeah, particularly the one who's looking at your scales like ooh. And then yep, looking, sort of looking at your face and just You're shiny. Yeah, that pretty pretty naturally and uh We didn't we're... know you came in shiny. <laughs> Yeah, we we come in all sorts of shiny, actually. And my my friend there is a bit concerned about the way your your other person there is clinging to her hair. How does shiny grow out of her? <laughs> the same reason the same way I'm just shiny it's just how we are can't be the same she doesn't have scales <laughs> no you know, yeah the, she doesn't have scales but we don't have hair it's but she's shiny <laughs> <laughs> yeah she she certainly is I don't know how else to <laughs> but you see if, if if we if we bring enough shiny home we don't get eaten or eaten is eaten a word <laughs> I mean, to be fair, in Draconic, it kind of is. Cause it, uh -huh. it, it's, it's the kind of thing that they probably thought Ava was trying to do when she picked them up. <laughs> Does Yeaton actually sound distinct from everything else? Yeah. <laughs> yeet. Why did they say yeet? Apparently, yeet is a part of a... Uh, well, it's a it's a quasi lingua franca among the small. It's only the small races that have a concept of living sentient being being picked up and thrown. <laughs> thus, to all the small level, apparently. Yeah. So, the, thus, thus, all the small races have yeet as part of their lingua franca. <laughs> that does make sense. 
Mm, and I'm just thinking back to to halfling speak, and I just spout out a sentence including yeet. At which point the 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 kobold that uh, Froseth was talking to sort of hides behind Froseth, and the other one is almost in Alasazia at this point. This is it. You you're, you're, you just get what is well. Froseth, Ava, and Darvin very much recognizes. No yeet. No yeet. No yeet. They're, they're, what the? They're, they're trying to figure out what it means. They're not going to. I turned to the one came down. And said, no one's gonna hurt you, but can you please let go? You tried to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not listening to you. You tried to eat me. I wasn't. <laughs> you tried to. Liar! <laughs> uh, I see where this is going already, and I can't even understand it. Rami stares blankly at all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, d dwarves are kind of on the... They're kind of on the not eatable end, because they're four-ish feet. And that's not... That's not really yeet size. They're also fine. They're also dense, yeah. <laughs> Darwin's just listening to all this, just like... Yeah, sorry for us, Seth. This is all you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Ava. You grabbed onto them. I appreciate you trying. But... How, how would you like it if a Goliath that you couldn't understand or couldn't understand you... Dude, it just immediately went to grabbing. What would you do? Would you like them? Would you trust them? I suppose not. You really need to be a little less judgmental. But if you take out a knife, there's going to be a problem. <sighs> I'm just going to fish around in my pack for one of the miscellaneous bits of, like, uh, which one of those sweets was I carrying? Did I have, um, I'm trying to remember if I had the cranberry ones on hand or if you, it was someone else. You had, you had some, uh, Alice bought some to give to Hazel when Hazel really needed them and maybe was too freaked out to remember her own. Alright, I'm gonna pull out but a you few also, the, uh... But you also have your random beans and whatever the hell else you picked up at the, because I assume you got some regular stuff at, uh, at Sweet Tooth too. I'm going to pull out one, uh, well, two of the little candies, the crayon, uh, the crayon ones, so they're, like, little red and sparkly. Pink. And I'm going to offer one to the one that's clinging to, uh, to Alice's hair, sort of at a distance, to so maybe try and lure it over. Uh, how close are you getting? Um, at least a, like, like, so there's a five foot person space between me and Alice. Okay. For the cobalt to move into, essentially. Uh, except this thing reaches into a belt pouch. And make me a deck save. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, no, you, you you see this sort of net on a five foot pole just shrink the gem out of your hand. It is not enough to do any kind of hit point damage, but like getting your knuckles wrapped, which you probably also had happened to you at Mount Palor. <laughs> uh, Looks at I'm it. I'm just looking this like grabby extendo thing. This isn't a this is made of. What is this? It's sweet. What? I'm gonna go over Food. to the one near Froseth after that. I'm just looking at the one with the little extender thing, like, really? And walking over to the one near Froseth to offer that one directly. Why do I want to fake shiny? Why is she giving us fake shinies? What? What is this? It, it's sweets, food, snack. 
like 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 the like the firebreds. Not the same as that. <laughs> the one that's kind of hiding in Alice's hair just boom. <laughs> Apparently, sweets not a thing. Not like sweets. Huh. Okay, that doesn't work. The meats were really good. We just weren't expecting the foam. Yeah. Okay, so what can we do to get you to let go of my friend's hair? <laughs> uh, can we take? Some of it to the lady so she doesn't eat or yeet our colony. I will ask. That's all I can say. I see the look on your face. Fuck no! <laughs> no, okay. That That is a very hard no. So it's probably not even worth what the normal shinies you bring back is. Probably not. No, I don't think it's. It, it. I don't think it's as light giving when it's cut. Uh, and no, yeah. don't read. Do not take it out of a pocket. I don't even want them to <laughs> no. <laughs> then can we take you? Looking at first. Th no. <laughs> Here, look, pull, I'll, I'll, I'll pull out a couple gold coins. How about for these? This may save us for a day or so. Nomph. Two, maybe. Why are you even here? Um. How do I even explain that? They look scared of not us. We're... Well, I'm guessing the, the dragon we're here to deal with one way or another is probably your lady. Deal with... Well, probably going to end up fighting, but we, we, we need to do something to protect people where we're from, so they're causing a lot of problems. If she makes you dead but doesn't make you food, can we have your scales? And if I hair? die... <laughs> <laughs> if, if I die and am not food, you can have my scales. <laughs> what happens to her shinies if you make her dead? They stop being shiny. No, I mean... Not, oh, no. not the shinies on her. The, oh. Froseth is not intelligent, but he is wise, and will think, oh, right, dragon, horde. Right. Horde. <laughs> well, we probably can't take everything, so, uh... We would be the keepers probably a of... Probably lot. We would be the keepers of the shinies? Yeah. So... Like, if... we, 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 of course, we'll take our share, but there, I'm sure there will be some left. Okay, now they look fidgety. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned. Uh, <laughs> they, they are, they're, they're doing that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm about to do a thing. I'm about to, but, but, there's, <laughs> there's people. That, we have to have a, 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 
talky thing with more people? There's a word for that. Conversation? More official. Meeting? Conference. Process. Conference? Yes! That's the one! <laughs> we, 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 we hear... We, we, it's, it's conference or conclave! We, we, we hear some of the some of the weird humans with the Chinese look! <laughs> Quite take the top hat. <laughs> but we have other people, and we can't do anything uh, until we make a decision, but uh, could we have more of the foom breads and and some of the putty outy stuff uh, uh, oh, go ahead. yeah so they they would like more of the spicy bread and the i'm guessing the the, the milk for after uh the it, it, to be fair it wasn't it wasn't exactly the bread it was the i think they just want sandwiches yeah, they sandwiches. just don't have a word for sandwiches, I guess. Yeah. I need to learn draconic, <laughs> and starts putting together. Do we have any idea how many? And I'm just going to produce the the infinite bread basket and start pulling loaves. Well, they're small. They seem to be able to. But, but then again, they might also be hungry because I don't know what the hell there is to eat out here. Just... Loaf. Uh, loaf, how, loaf. How, how many bread things do you need? Lots. Not many. Lots. Actually, no. Not lots, but many. They're clearly not very numerically inclined. <laughs> After uh, I pulled out, like, four loaves, I'm going to hand each one an entire loaf. No, no, no. Hazel! Sandwiches. Uh, they're looking at this like, that's not foom bread. <laughs> <laughs> put put the uh, I will I will take two of these loaves and I will put together sandwiches and then I'm gonna take another one of those and I'm going to make us all more sandwiches and that last one I think I know what I'm going to do with the last one, so keep it handy. And starts putting together sandwiches, and the, the one that's sort of half buried in her hair is still just... It's just <laughs> creepy! <laughs> uh, for Seth, the interfering with the sandwich making. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> No, he's just gonna he's just gonna let the yeah, cobalt no, carry on with it. That's that that's that's fine, but it's creepy. There there's there's you're, you're, there's only a few hands I like in my hair and that's not it. Yeah, address the, the cobalt again. You you she she's making you sandwiches, but you the you being in her hair is upsetting. Can you please come out but it's soft shinies and it's just <laughs> ages out and it's just sort of you know it's like i didn't know shinies could be soft <laughs> what did what did it say they say i'm not even gonna bother with gender what did they say they didn't know shinies could be soft haha -ha. i'm going to interrupt sandwich making for just a moment Rummages in her haversack and pulls out. Unfortunately, it's probably one of uh, Remy's favorite tops on Alice. A. It's sort of a, 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 a shiny whitish satin thing, and just sort of hands it to the. It's looking at shiny I mean, soft. Looks between, but she <laughs> it doesn't say gets, anything. It gets them out of my hair. Literally. Yep, yep. <laughs> I can buy another one. one. And eventually puts together like two bread loaves worth of sandwiches. And I hope you guys are able to carry all this. We will 
we we the, 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 the one with the top hat was talking to first. Said, we will be back, and they each scoop up a loaf worth of sandwich and yum. Hey, they said they'd be back. So <sighs> be back to do what exactly? There. Well, there were. He was. It. It. The. It, it's. It, Darwin gave a, a synonym for conversation, talking. Yeah. Hi, Pim Pim. <laughs> um, Kitty! Um, yeah, it, it, it's around that point that Sapphire kind of starts climbing up Clarity's armor and just. So that means they're going to talk to people? Yeah, I, I assume with other kobolds, I told them what we're here to do they seem more scared of the dragon so that's it's uh good for us well who are, who, who are you more scared of gods or giants mm. well that and i doubt the dragon is one for offering sandwiches so you know honestly well, that's probably one of the first like signs of kindness they've had in a bit aside well, from amongst themselves well I, I i couldn't say one way or another but i do know that they were just gonna yoink the sandwich and run if i hadn't made it and they seemed to like the spicy it's just that they we had to bring them back to some place so that we could actually get a look at them because skittish creatures they're just gonna yoink <laughs> Kind of like dealing with stray cats. And urchins. Yeah. I wasn't going to talk about that, but cat, cats is better. Sorry. That's fine. Yeah, cats is better. Sorry. Cats is better. Cats is fine. Thinking it's, my it's, own it's, experience. It's, but yes, cats better. <laughs> Your own experience. <laughs> no. I knew some. No, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It hold, holds out a sandwich. Mm. Don't worry, it's not it's not foom bread. <laughs> so what? I don't know, maybe maybe a, maybe a, long, a fair bit of ah, <laughs> we can't be just not do that so much. So, anyway. so let me let me let me let me see if I'm following the logic. They need to talk to somebody, uh, probably other kobolds, about our attempts to deal with in a permanent way. The dragon that they are scared of, but worshipping in the sinners in, in the, the hands of an angry better. god kind of way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But the fact that they need to talk to people about it instead of letting us go on our way suggests that it's not just about letting us go on our way. If we played that right, it might be more useful and if we played it wrong it might be less Ava don't eat the kobolds hair ruffle <laughs> I, them off your head. I appreciate the help but sometimes when you're making contact with a new social grouping maybe you don't start by grabbing them that's usually my mistake yeah, except you're usually hugging them. That's a little better. Exactly. They're still still apt for, for misinterpretation, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glances <laughs> over at Barnabas to see how he's reacting to any of this. Uh, uh, just mm. passes him a sandwich. You okay over there? I'm fine. <laughs> I take it this is not how we do negotiate. You do negotiations where you come from. Um, not usually, no. Any suggestions for you know, possibles if this goes badly? Mm. <laughs> 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 it, it, it's a case of cat versus camera. <laughs> cat versus entire keyboard. <laughs> this is in this case is more of a cat versus face. <laughs> there was mention of what <laughs> what happens to 
uh, for Seth, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm just assuming here. What happens to her shinies? I'm assuming they mean the horde. That yeah, that's purple. probably assumed as well. Well, we'll okay. take we'll take some of it. Um, I think uh, there's going to be some of what we take is going to be a certain amount of tithing for both the uh, mining consortium and um, well, no, I mean. That's the thing. Fortinbras is kind of paying us in what we can pick up, but we are supposed to be picking up some to pay his mercs. But, I mean, depending on how much she's got, and if she's as old as we're afraid she is, I, I, don't, ima I don't imagine we're going to take everything. Yeah. Although I, I, I basically said we'd take our fair share and what's left would be theirs. That's, yeah, so, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, that's... Also, I should mention, I did promise if I died and wasn't eaten, they could have my scales. Okay, what? then. That's dark. Yeah. <laughs> but I felt I should clarify that if something happens. Okay. I have a couple of responses to that. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let it happen. But if by some horrible misfortune it did, I wouldn't be in any condition probably to stop them taking your scales anyway. Because that's not a thing. Yep. Remember that Hazel has resurrection now. Also, we get to keep one. In case her resurrection and revivify don't work. We don't need a body, necessarily. We just need a terrible lot of money. And we're... Mm. Lo and behold, we're going to be in a place with a terrible lot of money, so... Yeah, because I'm fairly certain if we do eventually end up in the location wherein... All religions congregate on this side. Oh, come on. And it, I'm pretty There's sure. There's going to be enough. I'm pretty sure your Lyra could do it. There's just a brief sort of I can see through time. I'm processing this moment. Yeah, any, any, Clunk. any head cleric of a, of a, of a shrine would probably at least be able to, after enough prayer, they'd ha be able to channel the power. They just need to pray for the ability, if you see what I mean. Got it. I, I'm, you just I'm... you just can't channel that much paylor yet. Emphasis on yet. You're getting there. But keep in mind that with the ability to bring back the dead comes the wisdom to know when not to do it, which is almost always. But in this case, we need you. And there's a couple of little girls that need you. And we're not losing you to Big Blue and kobolds with a shiny fetish. Which is all kobolds. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah... <laughs> Body horror kobolds. Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah, I think Clarity had had the right idea. That's dark. I mean, in, in the moment, I don't blame you. It made. Hang on. Certain if, if they've if they've it. never if they've never but they were they were surprised that you were metal looking. Yes. That I'm... must. And and that that's an overall so. <laughs> Do they even know metallic dragons exist? Do they know not. there's nice ones? Do they know there's a nice one living like a week's travel that way? That's a good question. I have an yeah. idea as what we could say to them, but that's going to need a translation. Well, what is it? And we'll see if it's something that we'd want anybody to translate. And, um, I 
that there's well, we that just I just have to wonder how much we're allowed to uh, say that there's a whole dragon of a similar but different kind of shiny to Froseth over there, and that he, and that they are far nicer than the f- apparently very grumpy lady who is fond of yeet. And eat. Well, the way I figure it is this. The only people it matters about knowing are the people who they govern day to day. Because a lot of sapient races get a little weird when they're not being led by humanoids or anything bipedal and about their size. So I don't, and kobolds would be more underground than even the deep gnomes. Um, just go- I'm just gonna stay out of this <laughs> this decision at this time. <laughs> I'm gonna continue like processing, and sort of in the process of looking like I'm thinking, I'm just gonna go over to Clarity and sort of wind around her in a hug. Hang on. Why are we even having this conversation? And actually sits down and uh, pulls out a, a couple of bits of components. I can just ask them. That's better. And just from around clarity, <laughs> probably pa- past uh, her shoulders, two thumbs up. <laughs> just four arms. <laughs> the world's cutest arachnid. (laughs) (laughs) And it waits. And then... That that was Squee! Oh! Dear Paylord, that was worse than Hazel! And it was in my brain! I think they like the idea. <laughs> oh. You know, you know when Hazel gets really happy, Squee. Imagine that in your skull. Oh boy. I and don't from... think they thought of that. Oh. And probably from someone who, um, just in sheer mass of personality, probably outweighs me by. The same amount they outweigh you physically? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. magnitude. <laughs> yeah, but she was she that's the thing, she was trying for a she was trying for a metaphorical kind of a thing, so but and Darwin will probably tick with more bard lessons. Gotcha. Oh Yeah, no 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 more squee in the skull. Thank you. So yes, we can in point of fact offer them that if they're not going to go as scout party to attack on site. Ugh. This is good. <sighs> My only question there, though, is how... Well, okay, not going like scout parties. It's how does... How does one... Well, I suppose if they're under a white flag or something, I just... You know, if they try to if they try to go, well, they have they they avoid they they avoid her. they avoid people and they don't attack on sight, which is what the ones who came in did to me. I mean, we know yeah. there's one kobold colony that's that's attached to uh, to to their governorship. We'd just be adding another one. True. Depending on how many of them are left, uh, increasing the size of the current one. True. True. Okay. I just, you know, I, I, I just didn't want them going to. They're getting... they're they're gonna they're gonna handle all the details. Um, you know that's yeah. True. True. Okay. That's, that's all we needed was their sanction so they could work it out. We're let's face it, we're adventurers. 
if somebody take if somebody wants to take the organizational bullshit away from us, let them. Yeah. We're not very good at it. Not <laughs> all of us anyway. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure some of us are wonderful at it. It's just there's sometimes some overthinking going on. Which point, hmm. little top hatted kobold. Yeek. Skip, 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 skip. Hello. Back. I am, I am, I am Spokes Kobold. <laughs> uh, uh, we are wondering what is, we, 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 they're, they're listening. I want to know all of them hearing it from your snout. What you dealing with the lady gets us. Okay. So, us... Us dealing with the lady, we will, as I said, take our fair share of her shinies and what's left will be yours. And uh, we have potential to set up contact with another large dragon that's much nicer if that is... A shiny something. dragon? A shiny dragon. There are shiny dragons? There are, in fact are, yes. Not just the... And they have shinies? Yeah. Alice is watching this and going, you could let them know that half the reason that there's people in this area is that they're digging up shinies for... I'm, I'm starting to get a feel for what that squeak is something to do with treasure <laughs> shiny bits. Yeah, it's it's it how they say it, but that's half of why they're down here, yeah. You know, the deep gnomes and the everybody else. A, a a large part of the reason there are other people here are to dig up shinies. For the yes, you can't the... you don't understand any of this. Yeah. For, for said shiny dragon. And the shiny dragon wouldn't eat us? Or eat us? No. So Lady Go Squish and then shiny dragon. And shinies. And maybe sometimes if we work hard and protect the shinies, uh, more Fumbrat. Yeah, I'm sure that could be arranged by someone. Well, prob probably, probably the. Yeah. Is it a is it a lady or a sir? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't know how to answer. <laughs> is there a draconic word for regent? There probably is. Yeah. Okay. Re Regent. Not. Not a lady. Not a sir. But a. They're yeah. too. They're they're too big to be just the one thing. I just see it as they are what they are. Like it's That's what we mean. That what they are is too big to be squished into Yep. 
Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's there's a certain amount of thump 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 from inside the walls. I think everybody is okay with this. So the way you were going, you don't want to go that way. Okay. It's kind of going to make you made of mints. And boom. And we do not want that. Lots of other <laughs> things. We 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 usually we protect the lady and her shinies, mostly her shinies. Uh, and uh so but the 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 the, the, the biggers and the not so biggers but the squishies, I guess. The ones without the scales and the flat funny faces. They they have bits and they leave them and we 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 we, we watch and we, we learn things and and we make all sorts of things and then we have to share. Uh, we we think we think we think the lady sent some of what we created or the ideas behind them to her regent thing. But you'll have to go around that because we have spaces. Oh Christ, it's cat cascade. <laughs> uh, Our games are cat magnet. It's <laughs> it's gonna be a squish because it's mostly made for us the way that's safe. We might be able to help a little bit if there's trustingness. We'd have you would probably squeeze. We'd have to make him little. And pointing at Barnabas now. <laughs> Okay, in this. But no, no, no squish, no hiss, no foom, no crunch, no interesting springy things of death. <laughs> okay, let me relay all this information. They're pointing at Bart. What he's. They're, point, they're okay. pointing at Barnabas. Why are they pointing at Barnabas? Yeah. Okay. Is it a good point? The. Or was it a bad? The way we were going is basically filled with traps. Oh. Clever little they... fuckers! And he just gives a thumbs up. And then the kobold <laughs> actually looks kind of proud. The, they, they, they have a safe way that will be a tight fit that Barnabas probably won't fit through how he is right now. That's why he's being pointed at. How he is. Um, He'd need how? to be shrunk. They uh, have uh, casters. Oh. Or they have magical items. Yeah. Either which one is a potential applicate of if we hadn't done this, would have been all of that would have been pointed at us instead of for us. All hail Thank the power you, of Frosef. sandwiches, man! <laughs> and Froseth's translation, seriously, dude. Thank you. Yeah, like I said. Well, once I get some momentum, I'm not too bad. It's just <laughs> starting a conversation. <laughs> well, I have to let you do that more often. Uh, just get, get you properly warmed up. But, yeah, uh, Barnabas, are you cool with this? I, mm, I mean, yeah. you know, considering what I've been through, I shouldn't be nearly as weeded out by this <laughs> idea as I am. But I'll but, deal with it. They did, I mean, they did, uh, again, from Seth, just, I just, you know, yeah, this works, but <laughs> yeah, I'm always paranoid that one day it might not, but they did kind of, it was, if, if there's, I think they said trustingness was yes. the word. So they're they asking us. Trust them. They're right. asking us to trust them. Yeah. So they understand right. that, you know, it's a thing that they're asking. So they at least understand that much. No, no, it, I'm not, 
I'm just kind of freaked out about the whole being shrunk thing for reasons that I don't understand. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Wait, well, actually, here's a question. Uh, if you wouldn't mind asking, please, for Seth. Is it being shrunk or is it being polymorphed? Because there's enlarge, reduce, or there's polymorph. Yeah. Okay. Like surprise me, drinks. They, they, they have some questions. How exactly would he be made smaller? Would he just be shrunk or turned into something else? Depends what he likes, but we were going to turn him into something a bit more friendly to tunnels because... Being smaller would be weird for him, but at least if he's something that's more comfortable in tunnels, it kind of gets all the weird out of the way. It's a uh, we we sometimes listen in on the on the on the on on the things and when we have scouts in some of the saloons and we've been hearing this thing about this music making human. They apparently really liked being a bunny. We're not sure what a bunny is, but we understand that it's kind of a, a small, big-eared, slightly overground mole. And he seemed to really like it. So, and, 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 and Alice is just... <laughs> behind this closed message. <laughs> Breathe it out. Breathe it out. <laughs> and we thought it might make it less weird for him because we couldn't imagine being in our bodies and being a different size, but being in an entirely different body is, it's not my body kind of thing. But we could just make him smaller if he'd prefer that. It's just that it would be easier both for both of us, we think. Okay. Turn turns back to the other. Okay, it looks like they were planning with the polymorph, but either is an option. I, I'm sorry to do this again, hmm. but what were they going to turn him into? Um. Do you do you yeah. want to know, Barnabas? Um. Well, it, honest. Hmm. No. Okay. No, I don't. Okay. Never mind. I guess I'll. I guess well, I'll find out okay. where it happens. Well, I, they did say it would be more uh, for us tunnel friendly. Yeah, they did. And so, look, having been polymorphed, it wasn't the actual being polymorphed wasn't all that weird. Hmm. You got used to it. It does seem to be less. Yeah. I don't again. I don't know why, but that seems like a, it'd be an option that would cause me to freak out less. If that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, because it's 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 not. Well, like they they actually kind of described it pretty well. It's it's not so much you being changed and still being you. It's like being a whole different you that's kind of mm -hmm. separate from the you you. If you get what I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, Okay. You can yeah. look at you can approach it that way, so it's not quite so weird. It's almost like partial change. One aspect is weirder than just going whole hog and doing it all in go. Yeah, that, that way it's like an interesting experience as opposed to verging on body hole. Also, right. also, also, if we want an entirely different uh, metaphor, there's the if you. It's the difference between sticking your sticking your toes in a cold lake and then or just jumping straight in. Mm -hmm. Easy, Remember the surprise me drinks. I gotta work on my metaphors. Thank you. There's, I there's... like to be picky sized. That's, that's and, and, me, and, but, 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 <laughs> and, the, and that's the thing. Some people prefer to inch their way into the cold. Mm river a bit at a time to get themselves incrementally used to it. You strike me as cannonball! That's fair. And now I'm imagining Barnum is actually doing that to poor Lake. Oh my god. <laughs> actually, I was I was thinking the ocean. I really need to have you guys uh, uh, visit a, a Moskoy colony. You'd love it. 
<laughs> I'll I'll explain once we finish the kobold related negotiations. Um I, I, they've had their conclave and we all seem agreed, but let's let's do a vote just to be on the safe side. All those in favor of ridding this bunch of cute little weirdos of of blue dragon asshat woman and getting them into the care of a much kinder weirdo <laughs> raise your hand Boop. motion passed and, and you've got you've even got butterscotch and flitty from the flitty bag <laughs> sapphire doesn't seem to have the slightest clue what's going on he's just rubbing up against clarity's horns much like <laughs> uh Everybody but the much more interested in Horn Petting's cat. Uh, so, kind of abstained. Motion passed. <laughs> the, 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 the kobold is... The, the top-hatted kobold is looking kind of... <laughs> is, is this a yes? Is this a no? Okay. They don't look like they're going to yes. eat or yeet me? <laughs> it that... Okay. It looks like we are decided... And we would like you to lead us through the smaller path, and the the big man would prefer to be changed as opposed to just shrunk. Porchy. It's actually turning around to all of you. Porchy. Alice say. It looks. Saya. Saya. This just your clan nickname. Roseth. They, they find that one a hell of a lot easier. Roseth. <laughs> Ava. Ava. Darvin. Remy. They're, 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 sh they're, strugg they're struggling a little with the V sounds. So it's, it's... Dorfin. <laughs> Remy. Clary? Say snuff. <laughs> Hazel. Hazel. <laughs> Everybody looks at Barnabas. Barnabas. Bus! <laughs> See, I kind of like it because it's close to boss. So, you know. I've been <laughs> Sorry, it's just. It's actually probably just as well that we're at about a break time because this is distracting as fuck. <laughs> it's just Excuse pet me. me, pet me, pet me, pet me. You must pay attention to me now. Yes, yeah, so why don't you go pay attention to your attention suck? And we'll be back in a few minutes with your kobold alliance. <laughs>
having made friends with a bunch of well, a small tribe of steampunk kobolds. Because that's how the Cupcake Coterie do. They're not overly fond of Ava because they see her as having attempted to yeet somebody. But there's enough trust there that they're willing to bypass the gauntlet of squish, hiss, foom, and other various noises that they seem to make in the uh, as the only way they can describe what their litany of traps actually do. It didn't sound pleasant for those who understood Draconic, so being able to skip it is probably a good thing. And what they do is, uh, okay, you, you, you Porchy, the apparently spokes kobold, uh, just says, we are going to have to walk you into this through our encampment. Our shinies. Dude, we, we have our own... You know, it's I, I know that word. I've picked up one word and it is shinies. We have our own shinies. <laughs> it's just, you know, my shinies, they were a gift. And you can't have my hair. I'm gonna look at Al just I if I I see here I'll say doing that because societal once again over to clarity latch my shinies. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You guys are so adorable. If uh, Hazel looks over Clarity's shoulder, there's little doodles of of very badly drawn kobolds in in top hats and goggles. <laughs> uh, actually, yes. actually, give give me a uh, um. Weirdly, I guess that would be as. The closest we could get is performance. See how well you can sketch out a was, kobold. Yeah, either performance or maybe sleight of hand. I don't know. That's <clears throat> no, that would be doing it with no one seeing. Uh, fair. Let's see how much they improve. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> it's a nat one. Right? They're they're a stick figure kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna whiz. <laughs> okay, no, that's that's actually that's actually closer to a nat one kobold. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Hazel just gonna whisper. If you want, we can take a little bit of extra time to sit and just watch. If you want to sketch more, uh, you 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 come and. You, 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 no yeet, and no taking the shinies. <laughs> uh, I am, I am, I am, I am the source of, I am the source of the foom bread. It's, it's, it's cool. It's looking at. Mostly at first, Seth, because didn't understand half of what came out of Alice's oh, right. face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we understand. We're not taking the shinies. Or... Yeah. Okay. And poodles towards what did look to all appearances to be a crack in the wall, but if you look at it at just the right angle, it's uh, kind of a crevasse wide enough for um, Barnabas is going to have to turn sideways, but beyond that, it's enough to squeeze through one by one. And Froseth is going to have to turtle his neck in a bit just for the ceiling. <laughs> 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 you, scrunch, you scrunch through that um, for a couple of minutes, taking some rather awkward oh god i hate, really hate to do this too <laughs> guys but i'm gonna do it 
All of you make me deck saves. Uh-oh. Oh, my. 20. Ooh. At 20. <laughs> 14. Okay. 21. 16. 15. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, Ava, Ava gets a, gets some scuffs in her, uh, in, in her red dragon hide armor. And she's pretty sure that a couple of the feathers came off her, uh, her, you know, her fletched arrows, uh, in her quiver as, uh, she's sort of crunching around corners Barnabas managed just about, but he kind of kind of had to wind his tail around his leg at one point and just breathe in, scrunch. <laughs> and first, Seth is just, yeah, this is this is he is he is he is one with the water, and water can get through anything. So <laughs> he's he's good. And after a little while of that, in you know, varying widths of of tunnel and some kind of tight turns you wind up in I think that everybody's going to have to slouch a little. Barnabas and Froseth are going to have to really scrunch down because the ceilings in this room are maybe six feet, probably a little lower. If I may, Froseth is a liquid. Kaida. <laughs> but it's it's not high, but it's long and wide and it's not so much a room cave as it is a open space cave because while not everything has a tent of its own. There are tents that are clearly living spaces. There's... You don't know what those little things that are... From a distance, they kind of look like smaller chickens, but they're clearly not feathered, and they make some weird kind of noises instead of... Uh, Instead of clucking, and you're not sure those are wings. They're not cockatrices or anything, but you don't know what the fuck they are. <laughs> and But they seem to be being kept the way chickens would. It's a little township, and you see the, the, the kobolds that were clearly watching you. I mean, Porchy with the top hat clearly is some kind of tribal spokesperson you know, high up in the whatever hierarchy they have. There's a couple in more sort of bowler hats with smaller goggles. And they're all wearing just put together scraps of what might be dandy wear if it had been for a somewhat larger being. You're led towards the back, which is... From the looks of things, it's a combination of a sort of tribal ritual shrine area and steampunker mad scientist's lab. And what you have there is a probably quite old kobold working around these sort of workbenches that are set up all around the edge of the space. And they're wearing this kind of headdress, which is a conical kind of a hat, which has a little runic thing on it that I think it's only Froseth who reads Draconic. Uh, I think Ava probably catches a bit, but it's too badly spelled for someone who's not innate with the language. It's a Badly spelled representation of the word wizard. It's like rinse, rinse wins, W I Z Z A R D. Uh, but attached to that is uh, you know, carabiners, climbing gear uh, tied up to the whole apparatus with uh, what look like lighting cords. And there's actually a couple of light bulbs dangling in places. So it's 
this this weird combination of headdress, wizard's hat, and stereotyped Australian corks and the. It's more hat than cobalt. Yeah, kind of. It's nearly as tall as he is. Assuming he, but, you know. The kobold looks over and... You have made parlay with the big squishies. This one is shiny! Pointing at Froseth with a, a kind of a... Damn it. It, 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 it's, it's, it, it's a... It's a actually quite shiny walking cane that a few of you have actually seen in Agref as sort of sword cane kind of situations. It's not drawn or anything, but so it's still just the cane, but you're pretty sure that if... 11 days! <laughs> uh, this, this is not quite your average spurt here. <laughs> this one is shiny. This one has the shiny growing for don't touch the shiny. That and my points at Ava. That one will yeet. <laughs> Look at Ava. Nods like okay, and then looks over at Froseth. Speak to a shiny one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what, what do you want to know? Porchy looks at you, kind of takes some pity and goes, They are going to release us from the yeet and eat of the lady. And nudge us in the direction of shiny god with shiny shinies. Shiny god with shiny shinies who is too big for gender. All we need to do is get them past the squish. Then points at Barnabas. This one will be troublesome. He has let us change his, he will let us change his shape. hobbles up to Barnabas, reaches out and pats his wrist is about all he can reach. Pat, pat, pat. And then uh, thinks about it for a minute. <laughs> it's just... He <laughs> hobbles back to one of the work tables. It's decorated interestingly as well. There's a couple of mining maps. There's at least one poster for um, for Basil Cell. There's one that they don't really seem to understand, which is a, a largely naked woman of indeterminate species. Uh, uh, it's a that you guys can read is it prayers to Sune. They don't seem to know what to do with this, but it's pretty and it's shiny, so they're sticking it up on the wall. There's little bits of what appears to be costume jewelry just kind of tacked to the walls. It's mostly cheap shit, but it's shiny, so they don't fucking care. <laughs> and the cackling starts. <laughs> and starts reaching for bottles of things that fizz in various colors and does not seem to be particularly choosy about what they're flinging together I may have made an <laughs> 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 Nope, if right. this doesn't go well, y'all will end my death, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> You'll be fine, Barnabas. Um, greater, re greater, res greater restoration cures all ills. Literally. Yeah. There <laughs> is also that, yes. You will be fine. We will make it so. I have faith in the cupcake coterie. 
<laughs> and the various gods that have taken note. Yeah, I, I don't think it's us he's doubting. I think it's... Uh, uh, to be fair, the cackling would probably unnerve anyone. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about the cackling too much. <laughs> I like it. Hey. Of course you do! I was gonna say. And once the various bits of... There are things thrown into that that... They seem to be metal. They certainly dissolve into the mixture. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And it it changes color and it f froths, and what you wind up with is that you know that that stereotype comedy witch's brew that unfeasible shade of green with the big floofy top of smoke coming All out of it. Bulbs and the yeah and the weird noises that it bubbles, but it does not quite sound like bubbling, but it's still bubbling. Ah. Yes. He does not drink it now. He drinks it when he gets to the safe tunnel. Okay, don't you don't drink it now. Drink it when you get to when we get to the tunnel that well we're gonna need it for. Alright. Safe tunnel. Gotcha. Should check if it's safe. We will be watching your progress. I hope the lady does not eat you. You will still have some travel after you pass the squish. But is a shorter way, so only about a half a day. Before you reach the lady's chambers. I think that's going to muck with your divination, uh, Hazel. I don't think uh, Paylor uh, 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 accounted for sandwiches. May have to ask again once we stop. Yeah. Uh, thank you. They look at just... Shiny bearer. Uh, hey. Okay. <laughs> I have an idea. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, just okay. Me too. Uh. Okay. How do I say this? Because because I'm not. I can't give them this shiny, but I can. Best way I can. If you want them... I want to say thanks on behalf of Paylor, sort of, uh, for, you... for helping us. Yep. I think the best way for these guys is if you have anything shiny, just leave it with the Horde. Fair enough. Uh, Probably easier that way. I... Just, yeah, say, would... just say thanks and let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look... Look at the the, the go balls. Go, Thank you. Thumbs up. And um, root around for one of the various gems out of the the tent platinum and gems that we that that I've got. Um, and just hand that over to one of them. Probably either top hat or if we we've, we just 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 so I've have you cur currently currently what you have is there's a whole crowd of 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 kobolds who are more or less watching this out of the corner of their eyes as they go about their daily business. But you have Porchy with the top hat and the shaman looking dude um. who prepared the green fizzy monstrosity. So okay, yeah, this one's gonna be two of the gems that are. Out of the out of that assortment, and I'm going to hand one to Porchy and one to the shaman. Probably two completely different types of gems too. We'll deal with how much that sets you back afterwards, but uh, there's there, there's just 
awestruck. Shites. And, uh, from the, 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 the tap on the shoulder, and well, more sort of mid back, really, because uh, what you have when you look around is uh, clearly female uh, trying for dress, more or less succeeding. It was a sack of something, but they 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 tailored it as best they could. She's got this kind of platter with basically kebabs of cubes of unidentifiable meat. Allison, well, it just went in Cobalt yeah. Town. No, nope. yeah. Darwin just takes one and yeah. takes a big old bite. I'll take one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, everybody except for. Uh, Hazel, uh, Clarity, and Alice, because they're the ones who used to it. Please make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, God. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ten for me. Yeah, this, this, this is for everybody but the three I mentioned. This is Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> there is the, the the texture is scallops, but there's also like so much garlic, so much onion, so much unidentified <clears throat> burn. They found cayenne pepper somewhere and just dump it in everything, don't they? <laughs> This it's guy. like it's it's a it's a whole different variety of burn lichen. Mm. First, first Seth, can can you ask what the thing that isn't garlic or onion in this is, and whether I can buy some? <laughs> yes, please. It's <gasps> okay. Um, actually, it's more actually, like no, this. you're no, you're 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 on the end of no, not this oh. much. Because you're you're okay. on the low end of that. Uh, Remy, okay, Remy, and Barnabas are. It's good, but maybe a tiny bit less. You're a bit. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to make it. First, first and Ava, same thing. And Alice just pulls out the the milk jug and hands it to Ava. Give it to Firsith when you're done. Mm -hmm. Just pass it around. Over with, while I'm. Near Darwin, I'm just going, uh, can you feel this? And I'm prodding the side of his face. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? And play, I'm just play doing his head, basically. Okay, no, now you can, now you can feel it. And it, it well, it, not 100%, but it feels weird. And first, Seth is shoving the milk in your direction. <laughs> 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 I'm like, do I need to roll a dex check to see whether or not I just dumped it on myself? No. <laughs> I'm not that mean. But, yeah, once one, one, once first up is done with the milk, she has, she has got Alice looking at the... Can you please yeah. ask? Yes. Look to the, the, the one hand. And I'm like, anybody else? So, uh... My, like... my, uh I, I'll, a... I'll assume you passed it around and Alice okay. takes it back. He's like, quit it! My, my uh... My friend here would like to know what was used to make these. So, like, not the garlic or the onion. The what else? The 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 Foom. the cold. The... <laughs> <laughs> from from oh, no. from the from the uh, from the the cobalt lady with the with the now empty tray, and then zoom off into one of the tents and comes out with this bag of what looks like gunpowder. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not gunpowder, but it looks like gunpowder. It's a different kind of foom. His <laughs> face has never been this shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, sort of... It, given the, the gesture, he just pads up to Alice and... Oh, yeah. Rummages around. Um, you're probably going to want more shiny than actual coin, so uh, pulls out a handful of uh, gem chips in her case and holds out, puts them on on the tray. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, the cobalt is vibrating. Val. Vib- vibrating in the grin. Grin with those teeth is just bows and you're I'm gonna have fun with this shit. Tucks it near <laughs> have a sec. That's the I'm gonna use that eventually. That's the non I'm sure it's another variety of burn lichen. That's what made it so spicy. Yeah. So mine now. <laughs> okay, um I guess we're ready. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you very much. You you go to face lady. Mm-hmm. From this from Porty. I show you. I show you a little door. Pet 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 pet. Through the little encampment being watched by kobold children are adorable. They're just really, really tiny and just kind of <laughs> peering around ten flaps with little beady eyes. God, they're cheapy kobolds, basically. And occasional. <laughs> it's a thumbs up. I love this entire society. Yeah, I'm trying really hard not to be like... The, the, like the the, the, the the leopard or the tiger character in in in, in Zootopia going and eventually they get to this an interestingly cobbled together door of bits of wood bits of steel bits of other unidentifiable metals that they've just sort of patched together and this this tunnel really is the kind of thing that humans and the dragonborn you'll have to kind of creep rather than crawl because crawl is flat and creep is more hands and knees but barnabas's shoulders would be too wide to fit mm. and that's where you know porchy holds out the uh it's actually a really pretty metal chalice of this green shit now. Well. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and what happened? Clarity gets out her notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Barnabas burps and then turns into a dire rat. Oh! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Big speaker. It worked. He's <laughs> gonna try to talk. Can he talk or no? no? <laughs> in, in fact, to be fair, um, Darwin's polymorph was a little different because of the nature of it. He's not really all that smart right now. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I mean, he's 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 still him, but you know, it's his life has become a whole lot simpler. I go that way. I pick him up before he's a. He's a dire rat. You don't pick oh. him up. Like, mm. oh. like dog, like like full on dog sized. Yeah, like the it's typical like new rat. MTV subway rat. Subway rat. No, this is this... Labrador. Oh, dire, 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 dire okay. rat. Dire, dire. Okay, sorry. I was I was picturing more like the ones I've seen where like the if you, you I saw it from the back end, it was about yay big around. Not the ones that are Yorkie sized. We're talking full on <laughs> okay, full size. On uh... Okay. Um. Again. Um. I've got the dark vision and can take a hit. I'm going first. Um, Barnabas, you should probably be in between us. You can understand, you just can't talk. Uh, so you, sh- you should be somewhere in the middle, I think, this time. Um... Me and Clarity, ne- or Clarity then me, next? No, Clarity should be a little bit closer to the rear because, again, she's got the dark vision and if something's happening in the tunnel ahead of people, it's uh, it's going to be a thing. So right. you guys are gonna have to, Hazel. You're better. You're better armored. And if anything happens, but the thing is, if anything happens to you, we're all boned because you are our heels. So you're in the middle. So I'm gonna suggest 
Me? Froseth. Remy. Hazel. Barnabas. Ava. Darwin. Clarity. Me. All right. I'm good for that. Uh, just one moment before we get all ourselves arranged. Walk up to Clarity, smoosh the bejesus out of her, and then get to, over to position. Should we ascertain how long it's going to be like this? It's going to be a different number for them than it is for us anyway. They've got smaller limbs. I don't think they'd have... I don't think they'd have given us a potion of polymorph effectively if it was going to be longer than an hour. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be a physical trial, guys. So, apart from Barnabas, it's going to be a whole lot easier for Barnabas. Nope, let's get going. And I would like you all to make me an athletics check, please. Six. <laughs> Ten. Well, 19. 10. It's not that bad, although Alice rolled a net 20, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, your dice. And, you know, yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, uh, while Barnabas doesn't have his usual stats, I'm not I'm not even thinking about his role because he's a dire rat. This is a tunnel. This is this is a thing. <laughs> so he's he's fine no matter what. Most of the rest of you are getting significantly exhausted. Darwin... Darwin kind of poops out about halfway through. So you're in the tunnel when, you know, Darwin from somewhere in the middle just kind of leans against the tunnel wall and wheezes. I probably hit my head more than once, too. Hit his head more than once. Knees and elbows are scraped up. And he's just... He's done, basically. And you're only about halfway through. <laughs> Alice And Alice A kind of stops as she hears that there's a blockage in the tunnel behind her. Just... He's not even used to running. I'm more used to running than I am sustained flex. I don't know about anybody else. I think I'm in. Uh, and I can't, I can't do that with a... Darvin, can you do that enhancey thing on yourself? Pretty sure you that's can. That's a good question. Out of character, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure you can, and I'm <laughs> going to say you fucking can. <laughs> in, in which case, you just kind of hear like, the wheezing changes because he's nodding and wheezing at the same time <laughs> and uh, and tries to make a <laughs> the most pathetic but melodic wheeze ever uh, and does uh, en enhance ability. Um, I forget which one. It's it's a, it's a it's be a strength, strength. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that would be, uh, uh, I think it was Bear's strength, if I remember correctly. Something like that. It doesn't really matter. We know what attribute you're doing yeah because it's only for this anyway is. so uh okay um full strength excuse me advantage on strength yeah, I, I was pretty sure bear was constitution but yeah. okay Either um way. brian doesn't have to uh yeah rat barnabas doesn't have to uh remy's gonna be fine um the rest of you uh yeah, I think I think I think everybody can make an, another athletics. Everybody else can make another athletics check. Those of us who rolled reasonably high will continue on as we are. But those of you who rolled low get a second chance. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Sixteen. Two. Oh, no. <laughs> and the minus uh, three. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I'm going to say that with a certain amount of, because there's enough net 20 in here and some halfway decent rolls, that 
while it takes just about the full hour and Barnabas barely gets out before he turns back minotaur shaped mm. by the end of it clarity hazel and ava are just in collapsed heaps of no <laughs> hazel's joints hurt <laughs> and clarity clarity spent some time in crawl spaces but never that much and she has now decided she needs to work on crawl spaces more if she's going to go back to break-ins. And Ava <laughs> cannot move. Ava had to be dragged out of the hole <laughs> and cannot move. Uh, and the only reason Darwin's able to sit up right now is the enhanceability. Well, yeah, he, 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 he got a second wind. He's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but but only just. And look, at, he's looking over at the three of them in 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 very much personal sympathy because he was there too. I I think I only managed as well as I did because I've done that in ice tunnels. I am. Next time we go to, well, anywhere. I am going to spend the next month just regularly doing squats. I neglected them at the temple. Then we're neglecting leg day again. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of it's core strength as well, so... Because, you know, you're, you're bearing up most of your weight through there, so... Yeah, but that, 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 that I still... Yeah. It's okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Shush. Save your breath. Save your breath. Wiggling, Wiggling through door through small spaces or small openings is a lot different than actually wiggling through the entire way. Wow. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm not entirely sure that was the entire way. That's just the only that's just the part of the way we had to wiggle through. Look, uh, as you look around the room now that you're yeah, the those who are who have badly flagged or at the very least starting to pick themselves back up. What you're in is kind of a, looks like a kind of a storage room armory kind of a setup where they probably set up their bits of traps. So there's little glass globes stoppered up with cork and wax, depending. They're filled with really odd liquids and there's, Bows and quivers of arrows built for kobold size lined up in the uh, in the bits. And there's levers and weird pipes. And in one corner, rather battered but remarkably fancy looking chaise long. Upon which there is a pile of what appears to be kobold shaped knitting. On the one hand, looking at everything, going, those ingenious little fuckers, <laughs> getting over to the knitting and going, aww. <laughs> they're, they're people. They're just kind of weird people. <laughs> they clearly got bored like, more than once. <laughs> well, I mean, not all armor is metal. It involves just metal. Also, it probably gets cold and dank around here. That's Never true. underestimate the power of good food or a good pair of socks. <laughs> I think this was a sweater. I, no, actually, I, have, I think this is a tail warmer. Yeah, I have no room to critique every time I have tried. You have the book now. Yep. And, I, and, even, and still... You've only practicing. had it. You've only had it for a week. It's fine. I was never I was never one for knitting, but the weaving was neat to watch. And there's a bigger door that's a bit more sized for humanoids that apparently leads further in, but you do also see at one part of the wall away from the armory section um what appear to be little sliding panels. 
Not sure if I want to touch those. Probably not. I'm not sure I really want to. I mean, you know, it's not exactly your stuff anyway, so. I'm well, I just, I just wondered if that was a thing to look through or an actual trap component. I mean, those levers clearly do something. But these are around cobalt eye height. Point. <sighs> Anybody no know anything no. about traps? Well, I mean, I can have a look, but that's usually more Clarity's forte. Mm -hmm. Right. Clarity, yeah. how... how Take how, a look how... and see. You, you up to it? Sure. Yeah. Is that an investigation check? That's more of a perception unless you're poking. If you're actually uh, flipping them open, then that's then that's investigation. I'm trying to figuring out. I'm trying to figure out what they do. Okay, that's that's probably investigation as long as you're really roll high. If you don't want it to actually do what it is that you uh... okay, well, give it a shot. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, it's it's a peephole. You open it up, and given given that. You're looking and looking at the levers and looking at the little cuts in the floor and yeah, that would at commands from you know at looking at the uh, you know line of sight that you've got down this m much more humanoid sized corridor. Pretty clear that if you pulled those levers, something would come down there timed to what the kobolds know you're doing and those things would come out of the wall there and that over there is about the right size for a kobold to stand on something and yeah yeah no look there's a ladder up there that seems to go to an upper balcony and those globes are probably full of something that catches fire or freezes or something else weird and does a fair bit of damage and there's probably other rooms like this other places, but they can also this shoot from down there. All rigged. Hmm? This place is all rigged. Look it. You can see they've got things going over there and they've got those things that are going to fall there and then... Yeah, yeah. Those, 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 yeah, those ingenious little fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, am I glad that we didn't have to go through that. All hail the power of sandwich. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm taking a pause through the through doing the stretches that I learned from Lyra to walk over and see where Clarity's pointing. Yeah, there's. I mean, it really is just this whole setup whereby the kobolds, if they if they know somebody's coming through, and clearly you know ropers and whatever else will give them a hint that something's coming in that general direction. They clearly man battle stations, and... Alice A peers through and goes, Yeah, there's another one on the other side there. Look, I imagine there's a palisade up there that they can walk across. Eh. I... Wow. It's like... It's like they... they it, it's like what would happen if someone took all the widgetry and toothsums and made it pointy and combat capable. Well, uh, toothsome seems to be more uh, artificially motivated. These are, I mean, look at these levers. This is for the kobolds to pull. It's, yeah, this this seems a lot more manual, but still very awesome and ingenious little fuckers. It's aggref tier widgetry. That's fair. Are we sure we can pass through without it? anything setting? Well, we're, oh, no, we're, we're there's a wall the between us and all that shit. That's why we're yeah, looking I mean, through the people. It would be set off from. Yeah, we're in the room where they pull the levers and cause the havoc in the trap we're, space. Oh, so we'd go around. No, we yeah. are yeah, around we it. We are around. We're on the other we're side. in the room that makes it happen in there. Oh, so that's what yeah, and and through. I'll I'll say actually kind of nudges Ava to look out. The you see, if that that lever, these levers, if you pull them, things would come out of the walls, and they can climb up there and drop that shit on a on on somebody going through. This is the control room. Mm -hmm. We're in the we're in the maintenance tunnels now. That's why they said these were safe. 
this is where they this is where they prepare all the contraptions and set and, them off and set them off yeah because this way they don't have to rely on somebody not noticing there's a trap or you know, being that's the thing somebody like clarity or me or darvin now can disarm a trap if they see one but they couldn't do that here necessarily because there's no trigger out there it's all triggered from in here hmm. so there's it it's a trap but it's not one that can be dealt with because, yeah, to disarm something, you have to have something to disarm. But if well, you trigger... pro- I mean, you probably could. You probably could, in a more advanced situation, uh, disengage something. But if they're this smart, anything that would properly disable the trap is probably behind that wall, behind this wall. Yep. yep. It's four different layers of stuff they could do, and even with disabling one part of it, they'd still have the space to shoot you, drop stuff on you, and do all kinds of other stuff. Yep. I think we should probably all take note of this, because I get the impression that the Five Claws of Bahamut are not the only ones who share information. Yeah, this is probably a tactic we're going to come across again and i have a feeling that uh, the ones in black crown aren't going to be as nice yeah way too close to dragon goddess yeah um, at oh, least clarity. at least that's what first yeah. seems to suggest if uh, if if giant naran the third is talking to tiamat directly yeah well clarity if if you're going to be sketching, now would be the time. I think she's frozen. She's been hiccuping through this a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like it's been a little spotty for all for me too. So. Yeah, I have a feeling that's largely your somebody in your dorm eating. Let me check. The... Torrenting or something. Yeah. Just... That is still a Actually... thing people do. Oh yeah, I still think people do. Uh, thankfully, more more so now mind. that more more so now that that the uh, the, the streaming services have become like cable channels. Yep, yar har fiddly dee, I guess. But we're we're more or less gonna have to continue on, and we'll just say that you know, Clarity spent some time uh, making some notes and go well, on. People recovered <laughs> a yeah. bit from the. <clears throat> and yeah, um, once everyone's a little bit more, you know, have it, their their legs aren't wobbling quite so much, um, you go out through the more humanoid-sized door. There's still a little bit of ducking from those who are over six feet, but not too too bad. And but just before they go, you do have Alice going. So how was being a dire rat? Ah, it was surprisingly peaceful really you didn't really think about much other than I'm going this way nope it worked. so it was pretty simplistic and restful actually we had the so I wasn't worried about anything just I'm going with this way with my friends that was it good to know yeah you, good to know to, to be fair you deserve a little bit of peace at this point Appreciate it. Um, awesome. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not going to get any of that until there is a sky. Mm. Soon. Soon. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's 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 get out of Kobold territory before we uh, go asking anybody about. You know, can I can I use. Uh, kind of use clairvoyance now so let's see where decent sized door leads us same same basic marching order it seems to work yep yep uh, everybody who's taller than six feet watch your heads click eep steps in i might enjoy being short and the corridor is a little closer to those that you find underground in Egref. A little rougher, but carved 
halfway decently out into the uh, you know, into into the stone little alcoves with the it's more glowing crystals than those little glass trapped suns um and clearly they have used some of their shinies for good and there's a also the occasional alcove that seems to contain like more ammo or snack food Well, you know, they're they're prepared for a siege. You gotta respect that. Yeah. Really gotta respect it's just ammo snacks. <laughs> it's it's actually a few hours that you're walking through the tighter but certainly sapient carved tunnel. And uh, by the time you finally come to the end of it and you're thinking, you know, is this ever going to be over? Uh, is food and, you know, a tent sounds like a great idea right now because it's been a day already. It's been a day. Um, you come out at this archway, which is much more elaborately carved with precious gems and precious metals almost haphazardly set into it so it looks kind of like really gaudy stained glass and a little sign in wood that's completely at odds with the glimmering mishmash of archway that again it's largely froseth and Ava has some trouble with it because uh, it's badly spelled draconic. And it's Lady Space Beware the Yeet and the Eat. We're <laughs> <laughs> heading in the right direction. I I'm basically going to read it out word for word oh well it's her territory That's... but it doesn't necessarily mean it's her lair so it's the right direction okay. at least and it looks like out there there's enough space to camp which we're gonna need to do because we're mm -hmm. you know, hazel's gonna have to ask paylor for some advice and you know we Probably need a probably need a night before we uh, before we do anything else, and at least if we camp out close enough to here, I'm pretty sure our after after our situation with the kobolds, they won't mind if we duck into their maintenance tunnels if things get a little worrisome. And here's a good thing: I don't think this is cloaker territory anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Mm -hmm. Not if it's because the lady eats them. Mm. Wow. Still, I guess, better than getting attacked with, by them in the middle of the night. Yep, and gives you time to explain the... Moskoy, Morskoy... Yes, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that while, while we cook. Um, the the, the Moskoy, they're, uh, they're a seafaring people. They live in... On, I guess, ship cities dotted around the eastern coast of Equitas and a little bit to the south. Not over much. They, they tend to stick more on the eastern side. Because, um, yeah, uh, you guys know that it's kind of Elven Wild to the west, Baron's Veer in the middle, Equitas to the east. And around that whole area is what she's saying is you know, they've. A couple of them are built around really tiny islands and just built up from there. And some of them are just pure ships. Um, they, they've got their own agricultural setups. And their dragonborn are actually really interesting. Um, they're actually water breathers. Hmm. You know dragons hmm. can breathe air and water? The dragonborn who live among the Moskoi either 
got that back or ne just never lost it. I don't really know about Dragonborn Evolution, but... Every, all, every Moskoi tribe has a different approach to architecture, landscape, or otherwise. I mean, they, they've all got their various uh, ways of handling... You know, what happens to water when it gets wet? There are some that are more druid-based that um, mostly grew their core ship. Um, and they've, they've basically grown plants to shield from the rain. You know, big canopy trees. And I don't know enough about the uh, the botany involved, but there's some trees that apparently live off salt water and you can tap them for fresh water it's a thing That's neat and what? some are a little bit more in the uh egref kind of line of let's use technology for this but they're basically there's a core ship and then everybody has kind of a house boaty kind of thing um and, you know, some are, some are just pure magic, but, uh, you know, protected from the elements by way of straight up magic rather than druid craft or magic tool technology. So you don't really know which ones you're going to get. I've mostly dealt with the druid based ones as that tends to be easier that far north. But there's a there's a settlement that's uh, well, there's two settlements kind of off um it's closer to Ambir, really, but uh, you know, Alzor High trades with, with those ones. Um, one is a bit more druid level, we grew this city, and the other one closer down to the Belarus end is more techie. But a lot of the big game, the big fish you tend to get, like uh, the Spearfisher's Revenge and that kind of thing, That'll usually come from them, and you know they've they've got they've got their own gardens and their whole thing, and their their traditions are fascinating, and you know just it's one of those things I really want to show you guys sometime, some more than others. One day, yeah. Well, you never yeah. know. We might need all the help we can get. Mm -hmm. It, uh, it wasn't really a time to say it before, but when you mentioned wanting to show, wanting to to show us there, I was like, I, uh, I nearly piped up with in a purely platonical way. I'll follow you wherever you want to show us. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. So she walks up. Grabs his helm of comprehend languages and foomp, over his eyes, <laughs> <laughs> and it goes back to cooking without another word. That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, and if you keep that up, you're not coming. <laughs> In any sense of the word, ever again. <laughs> I think he froze this time. <laughs> oh, no, there you go. no, he's he's just pondering. Okay, cool. <laughs> Blink Darwin every now and again. Froze. Yeah. Yeah, Darwin is just dead still and dead <laughs> silent. <laughs> just goes... And basically contemplating not moving anymore, like ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just dishes up, dishes up dinner. Uh, leave somebody else to give Darwin his bowl. She's not going to talk to him for a little while. That's that's pretty standard with Alice. If you if you cross a line, she'll leave it cool down, and then she'll act like nothing happened. Generally, so after dinner, you okay to commune with Paylor? Yep, I just uh, I should be good for that. Yep. I, I, uh, I can consecrate the, consecrate the, any, any 
well, I can consecrate some water from the jug and uh, should have enough incense kicking around. Uh, remind us to actually do some damn shopping for incense after. Yep. Not like we lack for the money, just the raw materials are important. Yeah, we've you know, the 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 twenty five gold, obviously, in whatever means is available. Oh, that's that's a different one. That's divination. Oh, okay, so which are you doing? I brought uh, the uh, the commune is the one that's the actual question. Is the one that's a question and the correct answer. Okay. And if you want to put up the spell card, because uh, uh, yep. you have various different ways of, of asking there's, Paylor for things. There's commune and there's divination. Ah! I was reading the commune because that was the one you were actually doing. Sorry about that. Uh, are you sure you want to do commune? Because that's yes or no. You want a more abstract uh. answer than that. Yep, divination. So uh, yeah, and I can also hit divination, which would be offering, and I got gems for that. Yeah, yeah, probably probably topaz or something sunny looking. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. Just uh. Uh, on two levels here, both out of character and in character. It's gonna just and in character turn to the group and anyone have any particular thing they want me to be sure to ask? Well, what, out of characters or anything? What, what any we, refreshes that I may have flipped yeah, out on? What we really want to know at this point is when should I use clairvoyance? To be able to see the blue dragon's lair. Got it. Because uh, the spell's got a mile range, and we want to know essentially when we'll get within a mile of the place for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyone? Any further things? Anyone? Because I have three. For divination. It's a single question. It's a single question. Divination is a single question? Divination is, you ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. Got it. Okay, I got the two bits and pieces turned around. All right. Oh, uh, I'm going to situate myself, get the ritual ready, and gem in the middle. Think of incense immediately in front of it. And here I go. <sighs> Walk in the sun. And the sun guides us all. All right. Hey, Laura. We uh, took a path different than And we initially thought we were. How, uh, when should Alice say use her clairvoyance to find the lair of the blue dragon that we're searching for? This is really something specifically for Hazel. So it makes sense that uh, this this bit of symbolism comes um, you know, in, in this kind of way that Hazel would understand. What she's feeling is the sense of noonday sun. The implication is, as far as Hazel's concerned, that you know, if they 
take their if they take their rest now, you know, after after dinner, you get their usual eight hours and set out after breakfast. LSA should start looking at at lunchtime. They'll be within a mile at lunchtime tomorrow. All right. And the topaz gleams like the midday sun for a moment and then ching, into essentially glittery dust. That thing must have been like a little tiny sun right where I was standing or where yep. I was kneeling. <sighs> Praise be to Paylor. Gonna unbend, knees still. There, there there's a also incidentally <laughs> a certain sense of uh pride and congratulations well done in taking the taking a path different than the one that you would have originally thought was open to you. You know, the you know, the sun heals the worthy and warms the worthy too. And you brought some warmth into the lives of little bitty kobolds. <sighs> Somebody looks so, cheerful. So if we, um, if we go about getting food in us, crashing out for usual eight hours and Manage to get up tomorrow at about breakfast. The, the, the usual time. The usual sort of breakfast. Hourage after eight hours of flop. Uh, and start going. Down the, well, obvious way. Uh, about lunch-ish. Noon is when you need to start pinging. Gotcha. Well, we can definitely do that. And if I take if I take last watch, I can get breakfast started for you. And if we're within a mile uh, at uh, if we're within a mile at lunchtime, that bit of fancy that you wanted to do for our meal, depending on what I see, could be our lunch. <laughs> yes. Uh. So yeah, I'll. We'll we'll fin we'll finish up dinner. I'll take I'll take last watch, so I'll crash out first. Uh, I'm happy to take first. I can take first watch with you. <laughs> we can do the next one. I'll do the next one as well. I'll go after David. To be fair, to be fair, it's uh, probably going to be uh, Barnabas and Froseth, if only because if I'm taking last watch. I don't want to try to, I don't want to not, I don't want to have to try to not wake up Re. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that if you were taking last That's watch, fair. Remy would be like, magnetized. <laughs> Ruffle. It's more a question of courtesy, although if she took second to last, she could wake me up when she came in. But then she'd, then she'd worry about waking me up when she got up for second to last. So mm -hmm. yep. anybody, any, last. anybody, anybody shares a bed should probably take watch together. <laughs> as long as they can keep their minds on the actual watch. I guess we're on the honor system on that one. You know Re much better than that. I can't make a smart ass joke. <laughs> <laughs> Clarity gets Probably sheepish. Not. I was trying to deflect away from that. 
by focusing on the more, I don't know, thing you'd know about. Fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. Comment with Thrawn. (laughs) (laughs) I did pick up something when I was uh, doing my uh, doing our resupply bits and pieces. Um, Made sure it wasn't anything too surprise me nor too incapacitating but I don't know what the hell fruits these are that grow underground but they make it into a wine and it's actually really tasty and she pulls out a pulls out a couple of skins of it and just there's enough for like a glass or so each so it's a surprise me without some of the unfortunate effects. <laughs> uh, I don't know if those would be called unfortunate, but they're definitely fun. In this situation where we are right now? Yeah, context matters. <laughs> context matters. And in this case, we are sticking with unfortunate for anything that without warning changes our shape or too much our perception of the world around us. Yep. Don't worry, when we get back to Egref, there'll be I and she she's uh, pouring wine into into your tin mugs that you got from the Crestwinds. And uh, there's a question, how do we deal with the I don't know if you guys have this kind of tradition, but I know it's a I know it's a Belarus thing. Uh, before the uh, before the whole getting married, there's a going out on the town with friends. It's a celebratory thing. I don't imagine it happens too much in in noble families and the like because it's been arranged too long. I mean, do we do that? Uh, I would, um, but, um, guess that's up to you guys. Depends on how many days you're thinking will well, it'll, it, be in Agraf. Figure we would be. We what well, we're gonna need we're gonna need to resupply and mm-hmm. you know get ourselves settled in because I'd figure at least a full day before. Mm-hmm. You know, the day of the actual wedding thing, and probably a day after that to recover from the fact that, you know, from the realization that, oh shit, we're married! <laughs> I did think that after the wedding would have its own party, too. Well, yeah, but that's a, well, there's a couple of different uh, courses to that, but uh, I was just thinking, you know, how how would that get divvied up? Because it's usually... Uh, what I remember if Goldendale has a has a it doesn't it doesn't gener it doesn't generally the 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 it was from what Twilly and Miranda told you it was really complicated when Twilly and Miranda got married because they have they have their own traditions but they're usually for traditional marriages which involves um you know whole bunches of uh, whole bunches of the bride's friends gifting them with you know cookery equipment and things required for the household and uh the men folk getting the uh, uh the groom thoroughly drunk this sort of thinking cogitating staring into space while I'm while I'm recalling this. Yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> I think we could find two nights worth of some sort of excitement. Yeah, but the question is, who goes with whom? The whole point is supposed to be... The whole point of the pre-wedding thing is supposed to be the marrieds having a separate thing, and we share all the same friends. <laughs> 
<laughs> Given that, I don't really think we have to split up. It's not like we have to adhere to anything that says we have to No, but spend the prior night apart. No, I guess I'm just a bit curious about what uh, you know, Ava, Hazel, and Clarity would uh, ask, say, recommend in so far as the... Uh, run up to something like this happens. I mean, I know that Hazel and Clarity are possibly going to be in our position someday. They might have things. Clarity's turning red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That means yeah, she's like, already red. <laughs> well, she's, she's more... She's, she's, she's red-ish, but now she's going a bit more beet and you know, beet tomato <laughs> kind of yeah so but she, alice a clearly knows but she's not looking at clarity she's not making a big thing of it you know it, i'm probably a little easier to ask about this stuff than you uh, how drunk doesn't, would either of you we want to get i wouldn't necessarily it wouldn't necessarily have to be drunk i could just you know, take you three girls out and, I don't know, sit in a piano bar and talk. I don't know. Yeah, that, that lines, that actually lines up a bit more with the, with some of the Goldendale stuff. Oh? No, I'm not sure I want to know. You had that look of... You get that look that you always get when somebody has been less than considerate to your mom and mama. It was... Goldendale is traditional, and by traditional I mean they didn't have they room. Didn't, yeah, they didn't have traditions for uh, anything, but I, and I do get it. I'm sure. Th I'm sure they made their own traditions, and you might actually be old enough to ask about them now. Yeah. In the case of what I've at least learned around Goldendale, groom, mega drunk, bride, uh, gifts of cookery stuff and gossip chatter. Well, the way I figure it is, in a town like Goldendale, they're all. You know, it's all, it's it's very small and everybody knows everybody. So they probably traded a lot of stories about, uh, you know, what it was like kissing him behind the barn. <laughs> Remy looks More at likely. the... Remy looks at the apparent split being made and then looks <laughs> mostly towards Darwin and Barnabas. And, and <laughs> stage whispers... We're not going to a piano bar. He's <laughs> <laughs> been mostly keeping up to this point and just, just like... <laughs> Look, if, if, it, if it's going to end up with... It, 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 Alice reads body language and Darvin yells body language. And <laughs> she has also noticed where the division in this is going. It's like... I imagine that whatever you get up to that evening is going to be fit for a mercenary. <laughs> and you have lesser <laughs> restoration. And d d d just touches her cheek. Have fun. Please go to the Rakdos place. No. <laughs> no, you're not taking Barnabas there. Are you at after the... Oh my god, oh, Hazel. Right. Right. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder, actually. Yeah, point understood. You need don't to talk! Reminded. Don't talk to me! Talk to him! Just, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm going, I'm, I'm 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 take some getting up and walking over to Barnabas. Yeah, I would say just take some mug and goes time. over there. <laughs> yep, as they're, as that's, yeah, basically, as Alice is yelling this, I'm already getting up and walking and saying point understood, just beelining over to Barnabas and plonking myself down next to him. Sorry about that. You, you do realize that Rakdos is like a, a 
majorly powerful demon, right? Didn't actually know that particular detail. I had bitten some some level of it was said. Demon cult is what they said around here. Right. Rakdos is the actual... Do not fuck with them. Do not treat with them. Do not go to their stuff. People die. Wait, seriously? Yeah. To be fair, you did have this conversation and they were like, the whole reason that they... That Racto, that the cult of Rakdos and the Flaming Floor managed to survive in there, is because the the actual demon is a little too far away, and the cultist members are n not strong enough to deal with a dragon, not an ancient dragon. Well, I mean, I think it might be a little toned down at least here because if the Demon is from where you're from. He's over there. And the ones over here probably don't have enough, I guess, that demon <laughs> juice to mess with the dragon. <laughs> I don't want to think about the juice, Racto. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Uh... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look, if there's anything involving that pile of nonsense. The only thing that needs to be done with them is ruthlessly squash them out before they get more foothold. Trust me. Yeah. We're not going to a demon bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and trying to apologize for foot-in-mouth problem. Give me a minute. Put it this way. If you did your usual surprise me thing, you'll be very lucky you didn't get some sort of astral parasite that rips you open right then and there, and they'll think it's funny. Oh. Yeah. Astral. What? I'm just... You know, look, maybe we should not have this level of detail before we go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I... Part of us? I'll leave it at this. Anything involving the Rakdos back home, there's always a specific cleanup squad that shows up with more mops than you've ever seen. Uh, let, let's, 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 we never mention that place ever again, okay? Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah. I'm I sure, yeah, I'm stuff. sure that Calatel has it bottled. I'm sure it's not as powerful as you're used to, but we're still not going anywhere near it because if nothing else, I've gone a very long time and managed not to get arrested. Nobody is going to die of fun on my watch. <laughs> now eat your dinner, drink your weird fruit wine, and let's get some damn sleep. Yep. Good plan. Sounds like a plan. And I'm sure there are places that are neither a piano bar nor... Demon cultists. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll find it. I have every faith in you, my love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on that note, we are a little beyond <laughs> schedule, but Hazel <laughs> Hazel said a thing and it really needed to be dealt with. So when we meet up again in two weeks' time, we may actually wind up at the dragon fight. We should... Depending on how far that goes and how long it's looking to last... Uh, May have to think about some of the bits of timing because this is a very big dragon and mm. there's, I mean, I know there's a lot of us and there's some stuff that needs to be figured out, but, um, the, everybody please have a think about whether we can start a little bit early or we're going to be able to run long because this is going to be a fight. I should be able to stay a long that's the thing. I'm I'm not really sure. It's going to depend on what work looks like in two weeks. Okay. Oh, wait Sorry. a minute. Is that... What, what week is that? Because um, that's... Uh, so that's Sunday the second night. Should be, it should be okay depending on what our workload is looking like. Um, I'm sure I can arrange something else to do with the Monday. But... Have a think, the rest of you, just to make sure that our schedules are in some kind of order, because 
dealing with a big ass dragon is a big ass deal. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Bye.